Hey y'all, Kentucky Farmer here, and welcome back to the 22nd episode in this FS17 course play tutorial series. In the last episode in this series, we uh, did a little experimenting with course play and follow me. In this episode, I have another viewer request. This one's from D. Johnson. Uh, and we're actually here on the Pleasant Valley 17 map, the same game that I'm using for my Let's Play series. And he was wondering, you know, is there a way to set up course play to mow these free grass areas? And so on this map, there's quite a few of these nice big fields here that are full of grass. And you can come mow them and collect that. Uh, the yield isn't as good as if it was an actual field, but uh, it's pretty easy with course play to set up a course to come and mow all this stuff. And you can either, you know, feed your cows, make silage out of it, or... You know, you could come out here and bale this as silage bales and go sell it if you wanted to. So, let's go ahead and get started. We'll bring up course play here and turn on our tractor. Now, I'm going to unfold everything, but I'm not actually going to mow the first path here. So, when we start a course like this, we need to do, since this isn't actually a field, right? Uh, we need to record a field edge course and to do that we'll just hit start course recording and now I'm just gonna drive the perimeter of this field and I've got everything unfolded just so that I know that I'm giving myself enough room to not have problems with the cliffs or the railroad tracks or anything like that and we're just going to drive all the way around the field recording this course and then this is the course that will then be used to generate our actual fieldwork course. And uh, back in FS13, uh, if anyone used course play way back in their early days, um, this is actually how you had to do all your field work. There, it didn't auto detect your field so you always had to record the field edge course like this. So it's kind of nice now that it can auto detect this for uh, actual fields and now we only have to do this for these open areas like this. Alright, and I'm just going to kind of parallel these railroad tracks for a while, giving myself enough room on this game. I do have the um, auto tra or auto uh, train out running around so we don't want to cross this track if we can help it all right then we'll just come right back around and kind of face this last point here looks good and we'll hit stop. Alright, and then I'm going to save this as field edge path. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to make a new folder. And I'm going to call the new folder FG1 for free grass 1. And we can move field edge path into FG1. And then, uh, so in this example here, I'm going to clear this out. And so, say you just came up to this field and you want to generate a course to actually do this field work now we would come in here and we'd select this field edge path and we're gonna load it and then we want to make sure that we're in field work mode and we'll come over here to the course generation tab and you can see our field edge path is the currently loaded course so that's a course we just recorded and working with the set 15 meters that is not quite right let's detect that here. Um, so if we look it up in the store it's 8.4 for that mower. So we want to dial this down 8.4. We're going to be starting in the northwest corner and we're going to head east. We're going to return to the first waypoint and we're going to generate quite a few headlands. We'll, we'll go ahead and do all six of them. Uh, basically because of the length of this piece of equipment and the fact that I don't want to wind up crossing the railroad tracks or 
going into those cliffs off there in the distance or those trees or those cliffs all that stuff um, I'm just gonna do a lot of headlands and that'll help give my tractor more room to work before I have to worry about that and then we'll generate that course we can open this up here and we can kind of preview it that looks pretty good yep I'm happy with that and I apparently didn't quite line up right there <laughs> Let's come over here, flip around, and get pointed at that start point. There we go. And now we can just say first waypoint, drive course. And course play is going to fold everything up, of course, because course play loves to fold everything up. And it's going <laughs> to drive up to the first point here. And now it's going to lower everything, turn everything on, and then it should start driving the course. There we go. Alright, hopefully I don't get hung up in this little pothole here. Nope, alright, good. Alright, there you go. So we are putting down a windrow. Everything looks like it's working right. And I'm just going to follow this around for one loop here, and then we'll start the loading wagon. Alright, so we've got the first pass done. I'm going to come over here and hop into our fence, and we can get started on the next part of this. So the next thing we're going to need to do here is record an unload course. So I'm just going to, from where I'm at, hit start course recording because I'm right here at the corner of the field. And we're just going to drive this back to the main farm. And I'm going to unload this grass into my silo. And, uh, you know, I, I figured that's as good of a spot as any just because don't necessarily know what I'm going to need it for so later on once I know what I want to use the grass for I can then unload it from the silo and either put it in the cow feed trough or put it in the food mixer or put it in the fermenting silo or whatever I need it for. So we're going to head back down here. It's a little bit of a tight squeeze coming through here and you want to drive careful and drive as if you had a full trailer because course play is going to you know have to be able to do the same thing with a full trailer so i'm just going to come through here and i'm just going to pull right through this part or it should auto unload and i'm just going to continue right through here so it's easier for it to make a turn and then we'll turn out of here and head back up the hill to our field all right and then we'll just kind of come back over here towards the edge of the field and we'll hit stop and I'm going to save this course as offload and then I'm going to move this into the FG1 folder and then we're going to clear this course out and we'll come over here we'll go into field work mode and then we'll come over here to driving settings and we're going to copy the course off of the T8 that's currently out there running. And then we'll come back over here to Manage Courses, FG1. And we're going to merge in the offload course. And now we're just going to kind of come around here. And then I can say, first waypoint, drive course. And now that will, course play will drop the pickup and just start the loading wagon and it will start collecting this windrow 
And we'll just follow this as it goes around the map, picking this up. So a few more things in here that are worth pointing out. Uh, you definitely want to make sure you pay attention to the speeds that are specified in course play. Uh, you can increase the field speed, the reversing speed, and the turn speed on the loading wagons, and they usually uh, handle that pretty well. I uh, also found when doing the uh, actual field work portion, the down and back, not the headlands, that uh, disable turn on field makes it go a little bit quicker. And then uh, the other thing I wanted to point out is by running my unload course through the main farm silo and the fermenter, when one was full, it just started dumping in the other, which was a pretty handy thing to have it do. All right, so there you have it. That is how you can set up course play to harvest and offload grass from a free grass area or one of these open fields here. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, would you please give it a thumbs up? That helps a lot. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. If you're new to course play and new to my channel, I'll put a link in the video description to my course play tutorial playlist. You might want to go check that out. I've got a lot of, a lot of videos about course play. And be sure to subscribe for notification of future videos because I'll have quite a few more coming out over the next few weeks. I'm Kentucky Farmer. Thanks for watching.